What's up guys? Welcome back to Stunt News. Today's topic is going to be about softness um, and about what the difference is between someone motivating you and someone running their mouth about you. Let's find the winner for Freebie Friday. So what I did was on the last video, everybody that commented on how many times they saw the creeper in the window, which the correct answer was four. It didn't matter if you put four or not. I went ahead and put everybody's name in it anyways. Um, so it's going to go ahead and pick a random name. I have nothing to do with it. That's me doing it right there. Um, but yeah, so once again, thank you for thrashing, for giving us the opportunity to work with you guys and giving Joe a brand new pair of gloves. Congratulations, my dude. And you got a sticker pack. But yeah, once again, thank you to thrashing for helping us out with that you know everybody check out the website they have some awesome material on there especially for harley riders that's what they specialize in um but yeah so let's get over to the softest video um first off i want to give a perfect example of how the stunt world works okay there's one guy uh he looked up to the this other rider whatever the case you know and uh asked him about some pointers on how to do a trick and the guy was running his mouth like, oh, you'll never be as good as me at that trick. You'll you'll never make it, blah, 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 blah. So the guy stayed quiet, didn't tell anybody. And just went out, practiced this trick, right? And then called out that same guy. And the same guy's ghost. And that's, that's like the perfect, that's just what you want to do. You know, like there's an instance where I was in where... I was in a bad situation and I, I was going to give up stunt riding because of, uh, you know, the situation. And I thought to myself, like, nah, I want to blow up. I'm going to dedicate my whole life to this just because that's something I'm, I want to do. I, I just don't want anybody to feel like you're being a, not, not attacked, but like, just don't be soft. That's it. Like, that's the easiest way to put it. It doesn't matter what I think, what Joe Schmo thinks about you, your, your, you know, scrapes or your double pegs or your foot break or your hand break or your stoppies or anything like that. It doesn't matter. The one thing that everybody will always tell you is we all ride for fun. That's what, and you all started somewhere, but some people are, are want, some people want to motivate you and you just can't take it the wrong way. Level up, level up. You know, I, I was talking to cowboy and we were explaining to each other, you know, how how we were raised up in this stunt game, I guess you want to say it, or how, you know, we were put on game with this. Like, what, what's that saying? Like, without fear, there's no need for courage. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, sound, yeah. when you add all these little, like, wheelie machines and endo machines that, like, take the fear away from it, then what are you really overcoming? That's the way I see it. It's like a participation award. Yeah, you know, everybody yeah. gets an award, there you, you know, it's pointless, you, you know. But another thing for me with that is the new stunt writers coming into it is softness. Yeah. Not the millennial crap, but, you know, a lot of these kids come in and it's like, oh, well, you're not saying I'm killing it, bro. Are you a hater now? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, nah, man, I've, I've seen you do the same trick on Instagram for the last six months. Like, I, I can't give you any more fires and flex emojis, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to see some progression. It's gotcha. not hate. I, I believe in you more than you believe in yourself. You know, you can do a lot more, a lot better. And I understand some guys just like, oh, Cam's just a hater. Cam's always talking outside of his neck. But it's like, nah, bro, you're you're this close to getting, you know, in that that over that mental block. But you you know? came from the era of the push. Like that's how we got good. God damn it, cowboy! Man, somebody ready to donate 150 bucks if you got it that try? What are you doing? Wake up! Let's go! Right. came out there and you were like, tall as <laughs> Or uh, get out there like, yeah. oh, you suck, you're a no, squid. Exactly, you know, yeah. We talk to each other like that. So, like, yeah, I go ride with you and everybody like, cowboy, you're a squid, bro. Yeah. You suck at that. I'm going to be like, all right, Watch got, you next, yeah. exactly. got you next week. Exactly. Exactly. Right? I'm doing high chair rev limiter like, circles around you next week. Well, now it's <laughs> like, man, like, man, this guy was talking crap. I'm going to delete him on Facebook. Right. Or, oh, man, he made a video. He only put me in it for like three seconds. And yeah, of course, you're going to sit there and talk smack to your boys, you know, stuff like that. Like, come on, bro, you can do that, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, if you can't take the criticism, if you can't take the jokes, if it's too hard for you, you're not going to make it, man. And that's 100% honesty. So many people come in this, you know, high hopes and stuff like that. And they still is good. You know, they, they stick to writing, they have their fun and everything like that. But 
the the writing for a lot of us is traveling like it doesn't even I don't, sometimes i go on rides i don't even i don't even ride like i go to see everybody i go to hang out with the people that i've been i barely see once a year twice a year maybe you know so there's so much more to this bike life and the stunt world than just being on your motorcycle and your tricks and once you understand that what somebody else thinks about those tricks really doesn't matter because i'll tell you right now i've never lost sleep over someone doing double peg uh, scrapes and anywhere in the world.